Danke, Sie können passieren. Dr. Russell Block and his new lease on life. A new lease on life he made possible. <laughs> Absolutely. The next 12 hours are going to be mighty critical. We'll find out whether or not Russell's cells have accepted or rejected the micro-robots we just injected into his system. No, everything went exactly as it was supposed to. When Russ created the micro-robots, he envisioned a surgical process that would create a new life. His conception will save countless lives. His only being the first power. Imagine, a cyborg soldier with the power of a dozen men. I'm just concerned about how he's going to react emotionally to these micro-robots rebuilding his entire molecular structure. Well, you saw how he was reacting. I mean, the robots were replicating his cells almost within the hour. I can't believe that he's had nearly enough time to recover. I'm really worried about how this operation is going to affect him mentally. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. 
Who was that? And don't say it's classified. Nobody. So why do I get the feeling this Mr. Nobody shoving an assignment down our throats? I have to go back to the hospital. That's right. So we can put an end to the Lazarus Project. It's too dangerous for mankind. Because I should be the only one. No. It has to be stopped. I have to go back and turn myself in. Hey, Lex Luthor. Don't you know these streets are hazardous to your health? Listen, why don't you come this way? You're not looking too good. Yeah. Come on, you chat. Just watch your step here. I'm gonna show you to our little sister. Did you get okay with that? Yeah. Say hello to our little sister here. Say hi to the nice man. Where the drugs been, Ed? Don't make it sick. <laughs> Terribly sorry. It's one of the side effects of the operation. Whenever I'm threatened, I automatically defend myself. So you only have yourself to blame. Oh, Cole, what's up? I mean, you never really answered the question. This is Valerie Reed, anyway. Yeah. You break her heart, or... She'd dump you for some geek in a vet. Come on, guys. Valerie married my best friend out of college, and after that, he and I never got along. That's it? That's the big mystery? I was hoping for some real dirt. Dr. Block is obviously having an adverse reaction to the procedure. An adverse reaction? Is that what you call injuring a guard and then leaping from a third floor window? My God, what have you done to Dr. Block? If we hadn't performed the operation, Dr. Block would have died. We made the only reasonable choice we could under the circumstances. An operation you had no authorization to perform. It was barely out of its experimental stages. And you people have turned a biophysicist into a runaway robot without a clue. He's not a robot. He's a man, and he'll be back. I certainly hope so. What made him behave so erratically? Apparently, these micro-robots, which we've created to make soldiers more aggressive, have virtually attacked Russell's brain cells, changing his personality, it's causing him to react to perceived threats with violent retaliation. I want to see the crime scene. I, uh, I'm going to go over Russell's notes and trying to find out what destabilized the cellular reproduction. See what put them over the edge. Mr. Catlett, Dr. Pally and I will walk you through.
Oh, I really hate leaving here with Russell running around out there, Neil. Well, Catlett seems to have everything under control. The best thing you can do now is rest. You haven't slept in two days. Try. Right. See you later. He didn't know me from Adam. And how did he survive that jump? Cole, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Are you finished? Because once you're finished, I'll explain it to you. Russell was testing the micro-robot's reaction to high doses of radioactivity. And it was an accident. Russell was exposed to a lethal dose of radiation, destroying enough of his cells to kill him within a couple of hours. We had no other choice if we wanted to keep him alive. We replaced 75% of the skin with a Kevlar-based synthetor, then rebuilt his muscular system from within by overlapping his molecular structure with microrobotics. Who made the decision to put him in a surgery? What was I supposed to do, just stand there and watch him die? Priority one is to bring Block in alive before it does any more damage. But I get the feeling that the only reason that you're really interested is because we've succeeded in creating this super soldier that you fed the boys wanted. Your husband just killed a colleague of yours, and he tried to kill you. That was not my husband. That is this robot that he's becoming. Dr. Reed is right. We made an enormous error in judgment, and we both have to answer for it. Look, all of this guilt and recrimination aside, what we need to do is bring Dr. Block back safe and alive before anyone else gets hurt, including him. All right. I need to bring in the rest of my people. I need Allie to do a complete electronic sweep of this room. I also need you to expand the security cordon a half a mile beyond the perimeter. I'll see that the fence is electrified, and we'll have a microwave scrambler installed so Block can't intercept any of our communications. I'm afraid you two are going to have to stay here for a while. Why? Until we bring them in, there's no way to guarantee your safety. Unless you're under 24-hour guard. And this is the best place to ensure that security. Look, I appreciate your concern, but frankly, I don't think Russell will try to do it again. At this point, I don't really care what you think. Sergeant. Of my best men outside the perimeter, we'll have the fence electrified by sundown. Make it sooner, Sergeant. I want you to see that roadblocks are set up half a mile outside this fence. Are you serious? A half a mile? What are you, hard of hearing, Waters? What are you, Elliot Ness? You gotta move on, Sergeant. Time's a wasting. I joined the Army just to get away from suits like that. No kidding. And a cheap suit to boot. Exactly 
Exactly. What are you looking for, Miss Farrell? Well, this instrument reads all the electromagnetic waves in the room. Follow me. See this reading? That's my mainframe, identifying and cataloging each wave. The microbots you injected into block, they're off a specific signal. It's faint, but it has a very distinctive signature. Do you really think you can find Dr. Block by his frequency? This city is filled with billions of electromagnetic transmissions. We'll find him. The only question is how long it'll take and what we're able to do once we do find him. killer but I murdered Phil Newhouse without a moment's hesitation and I would have killed Valerie too are you there I've got about five minutes until my robot self reactivates after his recharge cycle that means I don't have a moment to lose electromagnetic frequency. So we're going to be able to track him? Well, once we find him. I mean, the job now is letting the computer search through the city and eliminate all the other frequencies as possibilities. What's the status on the perimeter? Got roadblocks out a half mile in each direction. Fence has been electrified and all communication lines been rerouted through my scrambler system. Nothing gets in or out without my say-so. Good. Why don't you talk to Polly while I interview Dr. Reed? We'll see if there's anything we've overlooked about Russ's condition. All right. Thought about that before you put him through all this in the first place. 
I already told you, I only performed that procedure to save his life. And you really hate me, don't you? You have hated me from the moment we ever met. Come on, Val. No, I'm serious. I don't want to talk about what happened ten years ago. I just want you to admit that you never forgave me for what happened between you and Russell. Well, he did become a completely different person. He became the person that he wanted to be. After you came into the picture. For God's sake, Tom. It's true. He drove a wedge between him and the rest of the world. He was my best friend, Valerie. When you showed up, it was like he disappeared. Like you swallowed him up whole. All I ever did was show Russell what he was capable of. And did you ever consider that maybe your friendship had just run its course? I mean, maybe Russell just outgrew you. What is it? Um, sorry, I didn't mean to. Anyway, Banya's already upstairs and we've got your room waiting whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. I'll be up in a minute. Nothing to worry about, honey. It'll only be a couple of nights. Yeah. They just want to keep an eye on us for a couple of days. Distance. 2,228 feet and six and one half inches. Wind. From the west at three miles per hour, round will drop four feet. Aim at point four feet over target's head. Be home by the time. as far out as a half-mile perimeter around this hospital. Nobody got in without an ID check. Come on, step away from the window. So the shooter was outside the perimeter? What, that shot? From a half-mile away? Huh. With his new cyborg soldier abilities, Russell could easily make that shot. Oh, well, that's just great. So now we've got a psycho cyborg who can pick us off from a half-mile a away. Somebody's going to have to answer for this. Kelly, why don't you go do what you do best? Spin this one for the media. We'll worry about Russ. Erinnerst du dich, wie letztes Jahr meine Wohnung ausgeraubt wurde? Wir haben alles geklaut. Meine Mikrowelle, mein CD-Player, mein Videogerät. Ja. Wir haben die Wohnung komplett auf den Kopf gestellt. Es war nichts mehr da. Ich meine, nicht einmal ein... Ja, ich weiß. Going. We're getting there. We? What am I, just wallpaper? <laughs> Look, like I said earlier, now that I've identified Dr. Block's electromagnetic signal, the next step is to find it in this maze. This is Mitchell's power grid, and unfortunately, the modern world is a jungle of electromagnetic waves. I mean, you've got telephone lines, power plants, TV stations. There's no telling how long it'll take the mainframe to identify a signal. So we wait. It was cool. I left him back at the hospital. Is he okay? Well. You know, I've never seen him like this before. Well, he has to hunt down his best friend from college who just killed a man with a single shot from half a mile away. How would you feel? I get the picture. Not the guy on the APB from the Fed. What the hell are you doing? You're gonna make an arrest, right? This guy walks away from a three-story Brody, kills a guy with his bare hands, and then shoots another guy from a half mile away. I'll call it in. Central, this is Unit 436. So you didn't approach him, did you? No, you did the right thing. Corner of 
Culver and Brando. All right, we're on. Thanks. Two cops spot a block on the south side. Come on. What's wrong? Well, there's something wrong with the phone. I can't get through to call at the hospital. I knew this was coming. It's not our phone. What do you mean? I bet you it's that microwave scrambler cat that's set up at the hospital. Wait, you mean that his secure scramble line is jamming our call? Yeah, I'm afraid Frankie's right. Oh, come on. We were supposed to be working together on this. You know that hammerhead catlet. Act first, think later. Yeah, no kidding. Frankie, come with me. So I like it's my own, huh? Yeah. Hang on. Come on, Westlake, you really think we need this thing? Still fill out guns. Imagine wearing a holster for this thing. If we do a radar sweep of the area, we might be able to find Block and pin him down long enough so the alley can isolate his frequency. Yeah, well, if anybody... There! There he is! Can you help it? Can I quote you on that, Westlake? So you can see that the micro robots have attacked Russell's brain cells, resulting in a in a kind of schizophrenia. And when he had me in the garage there, I could tell that he was wrestling with himself. I know that you feel you did this for his own good, but wasn't there any other way to save his life? Tom, the dose of radiation that Russell absorbed is the equivalent of years of cancer in a matter of seconds. Millions of his body cells were destroyed. You haven't answered my question. We, we considered every other possible solution. And then all of a sudden done, the only other alternative was was a very radical therapy involving gene splicing and, and irradiated drugs. I mean, it's, it's extremely experimental, it's risky, it's highly toxic. I don't see how it's any different than what you did. Tommy, you have to believe me. When I saw Russell laying there, almost, almost dead, I realized... I would do anything that I could to save his life. We decided to go ahead with the gene splicing therapy. And just before we put Russell under, he has to be alone with me for a few minutes. He asked me to do this. He knew he was going to die from all the tissue damage. And he knew that he was on the brink of a major scientific breakthrough. He wanted this project to come to fruition no matter what the cost. Does anyone else know this? No. He asked me to keep it a secret. Tony, you have no idea how much I love him. And how guilty I feel about everything that's done to him. And about everything that's happened here. Done 
for you? After she's thrown you over for him? to reach you, but Catless Microwave Scrambler was jamming the signal. We went after a reporter sighting a block. He got away. Cole, Dr. Strauss on the line. What's happening, Nellie? Cole? We did it. We? The computer's finally isolated Block's electromagnetic frequency, so now we can track him down by using the robot's pulse. You know, the next time I need to find a needle in a haystack, I'll know just who to call. Hey, Cole, if you give me a minute to go online, I can link the system here with the defender in the hospital. All right, patch the transmission into the car's onboard systems. We're on it right away. I always managed to hang a lantern on the electromagnetic pulse coming off Russ. Don't worry, we'll find him. Hey, Tom, thank you. And, uh, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. Radius. He's moving pretty fast. He's cutting through an alley. It looks like halfway down the 400 block of class. That leads out on a dead end at market. We'll try to cut him off, but he keeps changing direction so much, I can't make any promises. There, right there, you hear that? Hear what? It's like a, it's like a little ping, you know? There's nothing there, Frankie. I'm telling you, there is. He's right, Ellie, we're picking up something too. Is it some kind of interference? See, just listen and you'll hear... All right, now I hear it. Finally. Are we picking up another signal or is it Catlett's scrambler again? No, it's not the scrambler. It's definitely not interference. It's some kind of weird echo underneath Block's electromagnetic transmission. It's more like a... Like a ticking clock. Please, Frankie. Any idea what it is? No, and I can't even guess. It's more like a beating heart, that's what it is. Will you stop being so overdramatic? Okay, look, Cole, I'll just use the system's amplifier to bring up the noise, and then I can identify it. All right, call Valerie at the hospital. Maybe she knows something about it. Got it. You see? We do make a good team. Computers anticipating our every move. Cole, we have Dr. Reed teleconference in. But we've got a problem. I believe that additional pulse we're picking up is the sound of the micro robots reaching critical mass. Now, what's that mean in plain English? Before Russell had his accident, he'd been toying with the idea of programming a fail safe self destruct into the robots in case the technology were to fall into the wrong hands. How the hell could this have happened? Well, Somehow, Bloss activated the failsafe, which has started the self-destruct sequence in the microbot. Exactly how destructive? Unless we deactivate it, those robots have enough energy to take out a city block. What the hell have you been doing here? Well, I had no idea. As far as I knew, it was still theoretical. I had no idea that Russ would be doing that. Can we stop it, Allie? If we can recalibrate the static pulse to Block's frequency, I think we can stop the microbots from replicating and end the self-destruct sequence. Well, how long will that take? Another 15 minutes, I guess. 
I'm not sure we have 15 minutes. Well, I'm doing the best I can. You know, if he was stationary, I could cut the time in half, but as long as he keeps moving, the data keeps shifting. Allie. Frankie, wait. I've got to deal with this, okay? But, Allie. What? If he keeps moving in that direction... Oh, my God. He's making a beeline right back to the hospital. Valerie, we'll try to intercept him before he gets there, but get the hell out of the building. Sorry, cool. I'm staying right where I am. Well, you suit yourself. Somebody's got to evacuate this place. Countdown hasn't stopped. The electrical shock seems to shut down the robots, though. At least temporarily. I, I can't say for how long. Cole. Tom? Is that you? What are you doing? I'm going to go talk to an old friend. This way, ma'am. Let's go, let's go. Keep it moving. Hold your fire. You'll hit one of ours. Good to see you, Russ. Tom, I am so sorry. I couldn't stop. I, I tried to, but I just couldn't. I know. It's been a long time, man. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. Not Phil or Neil, and certainly not Valerie. I know, Russ, but you gotta listen. There's a ticking time bomb inside of you. It's set to go off. I know. But once the electrical shock wears off and the robot takes over again, I'll forget all about it. Come on, man. You've never been a quitter. Don't start now. Let us help. After all I've done, I don't deserve the help. It looks like the electrical shock is beginning to wear off. Yes, I can see that. But I still have some reconfiguring to do. It'll work, okay? I just need a few more minutes to get it all online. Cole! It's time to go. Hmm. You're not going anywhere. Open fire! Back off, Kevin. We'll handle this. Allie, where do we stand? I just need a little more time. Listen, I don't want to be a party pooper, but the defender cannot take much more of that kind of abuse. I saw you with Valerie the minute my back was turned. I should have killed her before you got your hands on her. When I'm finished with you, she's next. Ross, Valerie loves you. Dr. Reed, I've been running a diagnostic on Dr. Block, and I hope I'm wrong about this. What is it? It looks to me like the electrical shock, besides temporarily freezing the microbots, did some serious damage to Dr. Block's heart. And according to my calculations, the reconfigured static pulse will more than likely kill your husband. That's what I feared. I'm really sorry. I didn't have a choice when I saved Russell's life. I didn't have a choice now. You can't stop 
me, Cole. I'll kill you and Valerie and everyone so no one will be able to track me again. Status, Allie. We're getting there, Cole. It's like threading a needle in a speeding car, but it's working. A few more adjustments and we should have it. And just in time, there's less than a minute before the robots reach critical mass. Oh, can you turn that down, Allie? You're driving me nuts. Forget it, Frankie. You don't understand, man. I've got 20, 20 years. Cole, get ready. One more tweak. And that should do it. Everybody give him some room. Back off. Let's go. go it's all go. over. Come on. Everybody move out. Step back. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 